Um, who is that? That's not Kira, is it? No way! No! A, a shiny G-Pip? I've already got one! Well, I don't have a shiny, but I've already got a G-Pip! Hey everybody, Arctic here, and welcome back to Solar Light and Lunar Dark. In the last episode, we ended up beating the trainer school after, you know, going to Pokemon Center so many times and losing a few of our Pokemon here and there. Uh, we beat Rick, got the Clippers, and now we're able to head on to the next town. Right now, we got ourselves a double battle here. I ended up having to fight a Spidox to get back to this area because, I, you know, the spider webs respawn after you leave the area, which... I know it was pretty much in any game, so I was like, yeah, whatever. We're going to get right into this and take on this double battle. Hopefully it's not too bad, and hopefully we don't lose any more Pokemon. Like, I mean, the good thing it's not a Nuzlocke, because that would have just lost like half my team. Like, But anyway, we're going to get right into this and take on these two girls. If... No? Hello? Oh, look, a trainer. Oh, so they don't spot you? You can literally just run right by them? Which one's Terry and Judy would like to battle? Okay. Got a glow- two glow wigs. I don't think Laugh and Flick can handle this. I almost called them bugs again, but you know, I started calling them Flick in the last episode because that's the name I wanted. Wow. Okay, that fairy wind did a good amount of damage, but that razor leaf did not. But the razor leaf did take out that second- second glow wig, which works for me. Uh... I like that, and I think Lav leveled up. Was it Lav or Bugs that leveled up? But we're gonna hit it with another Fairy Wind, and then we're gonna hit Headbutt if it doesn't, if Fairy Wind doesn't take it out, the Headbutt definitely will, and we win. So yeah, kinda, kinda glad I went for an actual move there. Uh, nobody else leveled up. Okay, so, I don't know when uh, Lav and Flick evolve. Can I cut this down? Yeah, I can. Awesome. So now I got a great ball. I want to hit that headbutt tree, but you know, I don't know what's going to be in it. I don't really want another Spidox to come out, but I don't think it will. There's a jump ball. Lev can definitely handle this, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I forgot what, uh, what Lev was. Uh, it's fit. Yeah, I could definitely, she can definitely handle this. Definitely. Uh, that fairy one's not gonna take it out. So one more. Come on. Come on, Lav. You can do this. Yeah. And that fairy one definitely took it out. Awesome. And not even gonna get a level up. We got a bug ray. I forgot I have this game set as a set game and not a switch. So we can't switch out unless it's our turn. Uh, yeah, I'm da I, I don't want to change that because... Well, I, I'd rather have a little bit of a challenge than to be able to swatch, switch out every time. Wish I could do that. I think I can do that in my sword playthrough, but I don't know. I'm not doing the playthrough on, the, on my channel because I don't have a capture card. So, unfortunately, I can't do that. I'm trying to get one, but I ain't really ain't got any money to get it. So, it's like, it's a little difficult. And super potion of lev, so she's full health, and we got another wild encounter. What do we got? Hey, a jump ball! I want to catch this thing, I really do. So we're going to fairy wind it, I think, twice, or once, that works too. Okay. And now we're going to throw a pokeball, because I really want to catch this thing. I'm probably not going to use it on my team, but I do want to catch it, get it into pokedex, because I want to try and complete the pokedex as well. Hey! Get in the ball and stay in the ball. No, you're not going to use bide on me. There's two different moves. Find and bide. I keep getting them both mixed up with each other. And we got it. Awesome. And Lav is going to level up here, I do believe. Yep. Level 15. Peter, no, he's not going to level up. Some jump ball can jump 100 times their own height. However, they get blown away easily by the wind and end up miles away from the forest they reside in. Dang. It's called, it's the bouncy Pokemon, okay. Uh, it's a boy, so I'm gonna name it Tigger, because it likes to bounce. 
Alright, stored box one. Probably not gonna be Hey, Levin's evolving! Oh I didn't know I didn't know she evolved at level fifteen. I thought it was I thought it was a higher level than that. But apparently not. Okay. Works for me. I like that. What do we got? Congratulations, your lab has evolved into Lavin Bell. Okay. I wanna know how strong this one is. But we're gonna we're gonna test it out because we're gonna have a Spydox on our ass. So yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Spydox. Welcome. Uh, meet Lavenbell. Uh, Lavenbell should be able to handle this. I don't know. The Spydox is a bug type. And obviously I can't escape. So I can't switch out anyway. I was gonna switch out to Rover, but I guess not. Ow. Don't poison me. Uh, you get the poison. Come on. Couldn't have just did a little bit of damage to me and not get the poison off? Alright. So I'm going to swap Lav out from the top of the party because Lav is now up with a rover in levels and I want to start training up some more Pokemon. I can't use it again because I've already healed it. Alright Lav, time for you to switch. Who should I switch you with? Uh, Tweety, since Tweety is our lowest right now. And we're in a forest, so can you not see me? This forest, this forest is the perfect place for my preschoolers. Oh, you're a teacher. Cool. Alright, what do you get? Oh, you're nursery aid, not a teacher. Same thing, right? In the Pokemon world? I would think it's the same thing. Tweety should definitely be able to handle this hamstar. I don't know with that rollout going on, but uh... Because I know rollout does more damage every, every turn. Yeah, I'm gonna swap out... Uh... Tweety, because I don't want to lose lose them. So, Star, you're up. I know you can definitely take this stuff. Because, I mean, it's your own move. You know, Hyper Fang. No? How do we miss? Hyper Fang. Got it. Yeah. Took it out. Alright. Still can't believe we missed. Tweety gained a level, by the way. So, we got a Rubo. What the heck is this? Alright, well, we're going to Hyper Fang it. And I feel like Star might get taken. Ow, what? Wait. What happened? What happened to Star? I did not see what just happened. Did we get damage hit with recoil by this Pokemon? Ah. What? What is this Pokemon? The opponent's blue ball is a bouncy rook. Oh, it's got the it's got a bouncy ability. Okay. I was trying to figure out why it was my moves were hitting me. Like that was a little ridiculous. Can you guys not spot me? Wow, that was awesome. We have a hiking day. Okay. Weird. Timothy, how are you doing? I got a toad art out here, and I forgot to heal up. And Tweety is... Tweety survived at two. Oh, I am swapping out. And I'm not going to be able to heal by the next uh, battle. So I'm going to have to swap out. Ow. Good thing uh, Rover is a fire type. So that Leafish doesn't do anything to us. And Tweety did not level up, which I wish it did. But can I move? Oh, cool. I can. So I can heal up real quick. I can't bring back Star, which sucks. And I used my last potion. So I'm going to have to pick up some more of those at the Pokemon Mart. Hiking day! Yeah. Uh, you're, you're excited for it, I guess. Okay. Elia would like the battle. What do you got? A cheap bit. Okay. I think Tweety can handle this. They're both bird Pokemon. So... They're pretty neutral to each other, except Tweety is 10 times stronger. So, oh, you know, Grass, you little... Come on. Can we wake up? Come on, Tweety. Yeah! Tweety coming through. Alright. And Tweety should get some... Oh, he almost got a, a level up. Come on, man. You're so close. Alright, I need to get to the Pokemon Center as fast as possible so I can heal up my team. And there's another Spydox. But I do got Tweety out here, so don't poison me. 
Thank you. Tweety is going to wreck that thing because it's a bug type. And Tweety leveled up to level 13. And Peter still hasn't gotten any levels. Like, how, how have you not gotten any levels? What's over here? We got a super potion and what is that? Is that a is that a Pokemon? I feel like this is a Pokemon. Oh no, it's Sling. It's a TM. Probably never gonna use that, but okay. Good thing to pick it up. Might use it. Who knows? Oh, what's down here? There's a mossy cover, moss covered rock. Don't really need that. I do want. Whoa. What am I doing? Oh, these are the ruins. Oh, oh. Miss Scarlet, was the earth stone in there? We got it. It's ours. We're one step closer to achieving our goal. Oh, don't see me. How do you see me? I think someone is listening in on us. Uh oh. Um, hi. Uh, I, I just got here. I, I wasn't listening to you. Who is it? A Team Solar spy? You. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Are you working with Team Solar? Team Team Solar? You better not be lying to me. If you are, you tell these loser commanders that the Earthstone is ours, and there's no way they're getting their hands on it. Miss Scarlet, we'll take care of this little punk. Oh, crap. Um, I literally just got here. I don't want to... Okay, so I'm fighting two grunts now. We got Spidox and Spidox. So, meet Tweety and Bugs. Sorry, Flick. I don't know why I keep calling him Bugs. He's not Bugs. Flick. Um, I don't know. Ow. Okay. Aha, you missed. And this should wreck it instantly. Even though we're one level higher. But Flick is the same level. Oh, Flick gained a level. Never mind. He's not the same level anymore. And he's learning Struggle Bug, which works for me. We'll get rid of Harden. Struggle Bug is actually pretty good, in my opinion. But Razor Leaf is not going to do much damage. Uh, but my Tweebies Peck will definitely take it out. And we're going to hit a Struggle Bug if the Peck does not hit it, take it out. Oh, we're going to hit the Struggle Bug first anyway. So we're going to wreck this thing. And Tweebies Peck will take it out. Alright. I thought you guys said you were going to wreck it or you were going to take care of me. You guys did not do a good job. Tweety is level 14. And Peter is level 13. Okay, getting up there in levels, getting up there. Commander Scarlet won't be happy. Oh, sorry, Commander Scarlet won't be happy. I was, I thought that was somebody else. Uh oh. I thought the, uh, the other one was the first. Ah, uh, do I have to do everything myself? Listen, kid, I don't know who you are, but you're going down. Please don't hurt me. I need to heal up really badly. Like this is not good at all. Okay, uh, we got- what the heck is this thing? We got a screech out here? Uh-oh. It knows Echo Voice. That's not good, um... And I don't have- I only have two- I have two super potions, so we're gonna- Gonna hit one of those real quick, and it's gonna Echo Voice me again. Which hurts, and I'm gonna put it to sleep, hopefully. Come on. Nope, we missed, so... It's got soundproof? Well, Tweety is down and out for the count, which sucks. But we do have Rover, so I'm going to swap in the Rover, which Rover should be able to take this thing out. If not, as long as this thing isn't resistant to fire, which it is not. Good. we got a Dracula. What the heck? Alright, well, Ember should take this thing out. because it's a, It looks like a bug type. It is a bug type. Alright, well... Works. That works. That works. Alright, uh, we defeated Scarlet. Trap, I need more Pokemon. Yeah, uh, no, you just... Grr, stay out of our way. We're from Team Lunar, and we're on a mission to take over this region, and it's lost. There's no room for the weak. Only the strong should prosper. If you want something, take it, claim it, do whatever you can to get it. That's how the world should be, and that's how it will be. If you're lucky, you might be one of those strong people who can live in our deal world. Grunts, let's go. We have what we came for. Okay, can I go, like, to the Pokemon Center? How, where do I gotta go? I gotta go the opposite direction. And I do not have any good Pokemon. So, well, I mean, I do have Rover. But I really don't want Rover to get so many levels. He's already way ahead of our team. But 
They're gone? That's fine. I was totally frightened by them. But now there's no danger. We can battle. Oh, would I have been able to go this way anyway if I hadn't gone up there? I just felt like going up there. Maybe there's something else to see. Apparently, I mean, there was, but I wasn't expecting that right away. Alright, so we got a hand star out here, but Rover should be able to one-shot this thing. And <laughs> it baby doll eyes me. Oh, well, there goes our attack. So, we're not... Oh, we did still one-shot it. So, that, that works. Good. We got another ham star right here. Don't baby doll eyes me again. What? How did we take the first one out with one shot, but not the second? Alright, well, Scratch should take it out. And it does. And we didn't get any levels off of that. Alright, well, I want to not run into the wild Pokemon. We got a toad. Ooh. Okay, can I, like, catch this thing without taking... Okay, cool. Uh, I thought Rover was going to one-shot it, but good thing we didn't go for a fire-type move. Because that definitely would have one-shot it. But I'm going to try and catch this thing, because I might add it to the team. I don't know yet if it wants to stay in the Pokeball. I might take uh, Peter off. I don't know if Peter evolves, but I know I said in the last episode, episode i wanted peter on my team but i do like this toad art and i really want to use it because i feel like it evolves into something nice peter did not get any levels being small and fragile toad art uses its leaf to camouflage into the forest environment and keep itself afloat in water to avoid predators it's called it's a tadpole pokemon it's a poison in grass i don't know maybe um i got the perfect name it's boy so that works oh i don't okay before i as long as I could spell, that'd be great. Good thing I didn't hit enter really fast because uh, that would have been that would have been bad. I didn't want a toad art named Fogger. I wanted it Frogger. Okay. Oh, we got a Glowig in here as well. I'm trying to try. I'm gonna try and catch this thing as long as I don't one shot it, which I probably yeah I did. I one shot it, and I thought Rover was gonna gain a level, but guess not. Uh, we're gonna have another Spidox on us. Because, why not? But Rover is definitely going to one-shot this thing. Instantly with a Fire Fang. And, boom. One shot. Knew it. And Rover leveled up to level 18. I really wish I had... Oh, um... Who is that? That's not Kira, is it? No way! No! A shiny cheap pip? I've already got one. Well, I don't have a shiny, but I've already got a cheap pip, and I'm probably gonna one shot this thing. No. Oh, I did it. I did it. I'm gonna try and catch it. I'm gonna try and catch it. I know I've already got a cheap pip, but this thing. Oh my god. This is the first time I've ever run into a shiny Pokemon in any Pokemon game. I've never run into a shiny before. Never. Oh my god. Uh. It's a, it's a female. Um, uh, I'm just gonna go with she. I I don't I, I couldn't even think of a name. I'm just wow. Oh my god. Uh, do you battle? Cause I really don't wanna. Are you just a regular NPC. Okay. I don't wanna battle. I'm probably I'm gonna be running into a lot of wild Pokemon. I'll probably come back and battle her later. But I really wanna get my team to the Pokemon Center so I can heal up. And check out that cheap hip that I caught. Like, oh my god. I am I am still... I'm still excited about that. Peter is learning Bug Bite. Cool. What moves do you got already? So we got Poison Sting. What does Bug Bite do? 60 and it's 100% accuracy. The user bites the target. If a target is holding a berry, the user eats it and gains its effect. Okay. So it does 60 damage. Get 100 accuracy. So I'll get rid of Bide. Bind. Because I don't really use bind anyway, so I mean, can I like not run into wild Pokemon? What if I run into a shiny Glowit? Hey, look, another cheap bit. I don't need another one. I've already got two. All right, we can run away. And another wild Pokemon. Come on. What the? A fever? Definitely gonna try and catch this thing because I don't have that yet. And like I said, I one shot it. As I was gonna say, I'm trying. I want to try and complete the decks. Can I just scoot around you? Cool, cool. All right. Can I? I got a super potion. That, that's not what I need, but okay. I can't go up this way. 
So I gotta go through the grass again. I'll be back to battle these guys later. But I, I really want to get to the Pokemon Center. And another Spydox. Okay. Don't care. Can I, okay, I can't run away. Awesome. Oh, no. I have to battle. Oh, come on. It's, uh, the temple is impressive. Have you seen, have you ever seen anything like that? Uh, yeah, actually I have. It's called the Wild Area and Pokemon Sword. It's in the Gala region. Ever been there? Got a Mookie out here. That thing looks like a water type. Is it a water type? Uh, apparently, I don't know. I can't tell. It went down one, sh one fire fan. I think it's, a, I think it might be, I don't know. I can't, I can't tell. I don't want to go down that way because Hater's already over there. So, I'm gonna face the Spidox and maybe run away, and then hopefully get out of this area. Like, I really don't want to be in here anymore. What do we got? A Hamstar. Imagine if it were a shiny one. Oh my god. I'd have to catch it. I'm gonna have to catch every shiny Pokemon I run into from now on. That's, that's ridiculous. Alright, we can finally get out of here. What do you say? Do you have an umbrella? I'm asking because it could be raining our route too. No, actually I do not. Do, do I need one? Oh, it is raining. Oh, do you heal? Battle me in exchange. I'll heal your Pokemon anytime you need. Oh, great. I got a battle. Come on, I just wanted my Pokemon healed. Nurse Lucille. Uh, Lucille. Uh, okay. Uh, I can't pronounce that right now. I probably could eventually, but this... Uh, I hate this Pokemon. Oh, we're almost out of Fire Fangs. That's not good. And this is gonna hurt me because it's got the bouncy ability. I don't. I still need to catch one of these so I can figure out how that works. All right. Let's scratch it, get it out of here, and recoil. And did we win? Nope. We got a Tweet up. What the heck is that? All right, Fire Fang away. Cause the flying type. Which means it's weak to fire and electric moves. Alright, can you heal? You look tired. Here, take a rest. Oh, thank God. I needed that. I'm not going back into the uh, the forest yet. Because I don't want to have to go back and battle those, guys, those people that I ran past. But what do we got in this route? Anything good? We got a bunch of... Don't need another one of those. And there's no rain, so I mean, I know it's raining, but it doesn't want to show up on the screen. What? A hey, Arctic, wait! Oh, hey, Kira, how you doing? Um, you know what? I won my first badge, too! Donna was strong, but I managed to defeat her. Now, I'm going to take on the Crestlight City Gym Leader. Let's do our best. By the way, can you see those trees on your left side? Those are apricorn trees. The berries on it are called apricorns. They come in all different colors. What's so special about these berries, you ask? Well, how about this? We have a battle, and if you win, I'll tell you what's so special. I'll even give you a gift, so let's battle. Oh, come on, I just healed up. I don't really want to battle, but okay. All right, Kira, um, let's battle, I guess. I don't know, I don't remember your team. You've got three. You got a Floby, which looks like a normal type um where did you find this okay so it knows a flying move uh, I, I really want to know where you found this Kira cuz I want one I want a floby looks pretty cool pretty sick all right you got a pair of oh yeah you got the, the grass type but you know uh, I was hoping for a one shot or maybe a burn or something but apparently not. And the, the rain doesn't help either, which lowers my my fire attacks. I, I think I think that's how it works, right? And Rover's level 19, which means he's way too far ahead of our team. And we got a pick sweet, which will be going down in one shot with a fire fang. Told you. All right. And pick sweet fainted. Rover gained more. Yep. Peter did not gain much as much as I wanted him to. Right. Oh, wow. Good battle. I'll be better next time. Let me heal your Pokemon. I just healed. Like, come on. If I had known you'd heal my Pokemon, I probably wouldn't have battled the nurse. But 
I was going to tell you about the apricorns either way. You see, there's a man in or short town that can turn these apricorns into special Pokeballs. I know, right? It's so cool. These Pokeballs are special because he makes them by hand. Each different colored apricorn makes a different kind of Pokeball. Here, take this. Hey, I got an apricorn basket. Cool. You can find tree trees all around the pl all around the place and pick the apricorns and once you get to Oshore Town, Bert will turn them into Pokeballs. Well, I better go. Good luck, Arctic. I'll see you around. Yeah, see you around there, Kira. That was a great battle. Uh, we got two red apricorns. I'm gonna take them. Can I plant them again? And then we got two blue ones. I'm gonna plant one each here, and then come back later in the game and uh, get them back or collect more. Where are my apricorns? Oh, I got a pink one too. So I'm gonna plant a blue, and then I'm gonna plant a red right here. Where are they at? They're in the, the berries pouch. Alright. And I think we gotta go up, right? Yeah. What do we got here? Oh, man. A Froby. I was just saying how I wanted this like two minutes ago. Okay. And I think I, I think Ember will... Please don't take it out in one hit. Oh, thank God. It's a water type. Okay. I think. I don't know. I can't tell what kind of what typing this Pokemon is. It looks, it looks normal. Got it's got a water type move, a flying type move. Okay. Um, can you just go home? Stay in the ball. Are you too good for your home? Stay in the ball. Come on. I want to add you to the team. Come on. And we got it. Second time's a charm. All right. Uh. Level 15. Who level? Who leveled up? What's the paying attention? Floby. It's a cloud. It's a flying type. Although small and light, Floby can raise its control over wind to create strong breezes that are capable of lifting an adult off their feet. Wow, that's a one strong Pokemon. And it's a girl, so I got the best name, Flo. Just took out the B. And it's stored in box one. All right. Oh come on, not again. What the heck are you, ugling? Okay, time to catch another Pokemon. I feel like this one's a water type, though. So, I'm gonna try to hit it with an Ember. Yeah, it's definitely a water type. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a water type. Okay, um. Can Ro Rover, can you handle another bulk? Ah, uh, never mind. I just literally took it out. Okay, that works. Alright, well. I'm going to end this episode here in the next episode. We'll get to whatever city we're going to. I think it's Crestlight, as Kira was telling us after we or before we battled. And in the next one, we'll be taking on the Crestlight, Crestlight Gym Leader, hopefully. And hopefully not losing any, any team members like I did in this episode and the episodes before. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. And that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in the next video.